Hello and welcome to this class tour here in Itala village. My name is Jana and I will be your guide during this tour today. We will first take a short tour here in our historical exhibition and then we will go and visit the glass factory. Uh, the Itala glass factory was, was founded by a Swedish master glass blower Peter Magnus Abrahamsson in 1881. So this year 2021 we are celebrating the 140th anniversary of the factory. And nowadays the Itala glass factory is the only glass factory still operating in Finland with around 200 employees and the factory is part of Fiskars group. The most well-known item of all the Itala products is the Alto Vase. The Alto collection was designed already in 1936. It was designed by the famous Finnish architect Alvar Aalto and has become a timeless symbol of Nordic interior design. All the Aalto vases are mouth-blown here in Itala. The collection was originally designed for a competition and Alvar Aalto himself called the competition entry Eskimo Women's Leather Bands. Nowadays we call the collection simply Aalto. Alvar Aalto was inspired by the lakes of the Finnish landscape and there is a connection between the shape of the waves and the Finnish word Aalto. Aalto means wave. Alvar Aalto's first wife, Aino Aalto, also worked as a designer and architect. In 1932, she designed a collection of pressed glassware inspired by ripples in water. Uh, this Aino Aalto collection is nowadays the oldest collection that is still in production. One of the important years in the history of Itala is 1946. Then there was a design competition that focused on decorative patterns that could be applied to glass through either engraving or sandblasting. The winner of the competition was Tapio Virkala and the second and also the third prize were given to Kai Frank. After the competition, they both started as in-house designers here in Itala. Here we can see one of the most well-known glass items by Tapio Virkala. It's the vase called Cantarelli, Chanterelle, with hand-cut lines on the surface. The bigger one of the vases is still available. Kai Frank stayed here only for a few years before he went to another glass factory in Nuutajärvi. That's why we only have a few items designed by Kai Frank. We have, for example, this bottle with the pattern that he actually designed for the competition. After Kai Frank had left Itala, the factory employed a young designer called Timo Sarpaneva. The 1950s were the golden age of Finnish design and speaking of glass, it was mostly art pieces. Like for example, different kind of lancets and orchidea, orchid by Timo Sarpaneva. Orchid was chosen as the most beautiful glass item in the world in 1954 in USA. Special in Orchid and also here in the Tapio series by Tapio Virkala is the air bubble inside of glass. The air bubble is made by a special technique by pressing a wet wooden stick into hot glass. There will be steam and it's the steam that forms the bubble inside of glass. In the 1950s the pieces looked quite simple and the items had mostly smooth surface. But in the 1960s 
the designers wanted to create something totally different. The starting point for this glass with frosty surface was the collection called Finlandia, designed by Timo Sarpaneva. This frosty glass was especially popular in the 1970s, but even today this Ultima Thule collection and these festival candle holders are still in production. Today, people all over the world recognize Itala glass by the red eye logo. The logo was designed by Timo Sarpaneva already in 1956. The eye letter actually symbolizes the glass blowing pipe with a glass scatter at the opening of a glass furnace. First, the eye logo was only used to this eyeline collection, but in the 1960s it became the trademark of Itala. Towards the end of the 1960s, the factory started to concentrate on clear glass. The models became quite simple and the surface of the items became smooth again. One of the examples of this simple eye glass is the collection called Gaisa. This collection is still available. Since 2007, Itala has been part of Fiskars Group. Nowadays, there are freelance designers from Finland and from abroad. Here we can see some examples of the current production, like the candle holders called Lantern, designed by Harri Koskinen, and Alfredo Heberli's Essence series that has received many international design awards. I also want to mention this simple vase with a perfectly symmetrical form. The vase is called Ruutu and it was created by Renana Nurva Pugujek. This vase is mouth blown here in Itala. This was the history in short and now I would like to take you to the factory. As I already told you in the museum, we have around 200 employees here in the factory. Uh, around 65 of them are working with the glass blowing. Uh, the glass blowers, they work in small groups of four to eight persons. They work eight hours in a day and five days in a week. Of each group, there's always one person having a break which means that one person is working for uh, 45 minutes and then there's a break for 50 minutes. But the group is working all the time, all day. Uh, glass is made of sand. Around 70% of Itala glass is sand. And in addition to sand, for example, soda and lime are added to the mixture of the materials. All the materials are melted in a furnace with a temperature of 1400 degrees. The molten glass is then shape, given shape either by blowing or by pressing with a machine. Itala has expertise also in colors. Itala has uh, thousands of color recipes and uh, the colors are made by adding different kinds of metal oxides into the mixture of the materials. At one time, around 20 different colors are active in production. Each year there's a new color and this year, 2021, it's this lovely amethyst color. Now let's go up to the balcony of the factory to see the glass blowing area. At the moment we have, for example, the Alto vases in production, so you can actually see how the Alto vases are made. 
So please follow me up to the balcony. Thank you for joining me during this tour today. You're welcome to meet us here in Italy. See you soon. Bye-bye.